Hello everyone, Marek Mularczyk here and welcome to another video. This time we're in Adobe After Effects. Uh, this will be a tutorial for any version. And it's this time of the year, well, almost, <laughs> to create some animated snow here, which is so easy inside After Effects and you can tweak it. And it's a very popular feature in um, in many films, in many movies, because just so much easier to create than get it in real life quite often. Okay, so I've got this video here. I've got this video here uh, of, with the snow of the, on the ground, but there's no snow falling. Okay, that's what we're going to do in here. And it's going to be animated by default, and then we'll just tweak it. So, with the layer selected, we'll go to the effect menu at the top. Simulation and CC Snowfall. This will add an animated snow, which is going to apply automatically. So if I play it, there's some snow falling from the sky, but we're going to make it look better, make it more noticeable as well. I'm actually going to show you how we can make it start snowing. Okay, so the CDI at the beginning with our playhead at the beginning. If you go to the effect controls panel, there are quite a few properties in here which you can customize. We'll start with the, snow, with the flakes, number of snowflakes. So if we add a keyframe for snowflakes, I'll set it down to zero to start with, so there's no snow at all. And I will give it a couple of seconds, like maybe two, an increased number of snowflakes. Actually, I'll give it three seconds and then add a lot of them. So let's say a good starting point might be 100,000. Okay. So if we play it, it starts snowing. And if I zoom in a bit closer so you can see better here, maybe in a way so we can see the sky as well. Here we go. Where it starts snowing and there's quite a bit of snow. Let's add even more snowflakes. So let's say after another three or four seconds, maybe let's maybe triple it. Let's do 300,000. So there's going to be much more snow in here. We could also make it a little bit bigger. So going back to the beginning. We're going to where the snowflakes start to appear, maybe one second, or in the keyframe for the size as well. I'll keep it free for now. And then after a few seconds, I would make it, I would make them much bigger, maybe like five, maybe six. Okay, so if I do five, for example, just to make them still look normal, <laughs> could do something like this. Because they're a little bit bigger, it looks like this. Um, well, there is more of them as well in here. And you know, at any time, you can see your keyframes in the timeline. So you can select the layer, press U, and you can see the keyframes in here. Okay. You also have a property here called wind. Well, you get a speed, obviously, but it's also a wind property where, so normally the wind is set to zero which means they just fall straight down a straight line. But if you adjust the wind, you can make them fall at a slight angle. Um, maybe no keyframes in this case, just a little bit of the wind. So you, as you can see them here. So if we just adjust the value a little bit, only too much, maybe like 10, 15. So they're actually going to fall at a slight angle, a little bit uh, towards the right in here. You could also tweak the color if you wanted to. You can also adjust the spread here to make them spread out more. And I guess what we could do here to make it look more, I don't know, Christmassy, we could add some text here as well, like Merry Christmas, maybe. Obviously not that big. It would be nice to make it fit here. Maybe without the V here. 
<laughs> Just Merry Christmas. Somewhere here. Maybe in the center as well. So is the align panel to put right in the center. Maybe a little bit smaller. And of course you can customize the fonts and so on. So I could do maybe like a thin one. So I'll have some text here as well in this animated. And that's how you can create animated snow right inside After Effects. Now it looks really realistic. It's blending with the content behind. It doesn't bounce off the surfaces, obviously. So it wouldn't work with the video where you have someone or something right in front of the camera. But for something like this, it works really, really well. Okay, so enjoy creating animated snowy scenes. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from MarekMulacic.com and from PhotoVideoBit.com, the blog. And thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And see you soon on another video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.